For the spirit of giving, easy to see in a new bond between two men who didn't know each other before one of them decided to donate one of his kidneys to the other. KMAX camera Mendoza has an update on that transplant and how both of them are doing after the surgery. Yeah, Brian, Mike Woody said his prayers were finally answered when Daniel Bloodworth had seen his truck and offered his kidney. Woody is still recovering tonight in San Antonio and Bloodworth returned home this week, but both agreed that this was a blessing to both of them. Getting in there and get, sitting in the hospital, I started to get a little nervous. Surgery is never easy, especially when voluntarily donating an organ. I was like, I can't back down. Can't, I'm already here. I can't do that. It's been a long road for both Mike Woody and Daniel Bloodworth. But once both surgeries were complete, Daniel knew he did the right thing. Kidney took immediately and he was doing very well for just of coming out of surgery and I was I was in tears. I, was, I couldn't handle it. After multiple years on dialysis, Daniel was Mike's last hope. He's my hero, you know, I mean, he, he gave me a new lease on a lot because I was chained to this machine four days a week at roughly seven hours a, a treatment. And then I got a, a tech uh, a text from I want to assume it's his daughter because it's his granddaughter's mother just thanking me for everything. I got a granddaughter that is just turned 10 years old. You know, I want to see her graduate. I want to see her get married, have children. You know, there's things I want to be around for. And had it not been for Daniel, I wouldn't, probably wouldn't have done it. Mike just hopes their story helps people help people. I hope somebody is inspired by it and just truly, you know, stops and thinks, you know, that, that they could give somebody the gift of life and, you know, like Daniel is to me and be a hero to somebody. Mike says thanks to Daniel. He's excited to go back to work, see his granddaughter and advocate for kidney donation. Daniel says he has set up a GoFundMe to offset medical expenses brought on by the surgery. And if you'd like to help, we'll have a link on our website at everythinglubbock.com. Good stuff. Cameron, thank you so much.